All right, just to show you a few things here, I'm going to go to the Cutting Advisor. A Cutting Advisor is a new and improved version of what we used to have as a more simple thing in the SmoothX control. Here, we have a great deal more information about what each tool is doing within the cut. For example, we have feed rates, it'll show our load during the cut. In this particular case, this program was simulated, but it wasn't actually cut, so we're not going to get too much information, but it can predict cycle time. It tells you what the feed rate's going to be in every different instance. It's really quite detailed and can give you a lot of information when you want to come back and create another program based on a lot of the same circumstances. I'd also like to show you our Solid Mazatrol programming system. Remember, Solid Mazatrol is a programming system where the machine will take a solid model and give you a program itself. To do that, all you really have to do is come in, load in a file, and that file is going to be a step file or a parasolid file. And when it comes in, if you hit that auto adjust button, it'll, the machine will try to automatically put that part in line with the z-axis in the machine. If you're happy with what you got, give it a unique name. And continue on to the next step. Now as you do every step here, all you have to do is hit finish from step to step move on to the next information. Now here I'm going to build the top line of the program which sets up the stock for the part and you can see it's given me dimensions here of 5.9 and 4.2 of the finished part size so I can use those dimensions here. I'm going to make the part out of carbon steel. I'm going to make it out of a OD max of 6 inches which will cover my 5.9. I'm going to have no hole in the middle of the part and the overall length of the part I'm going to make it 4.25 just a little bit longer than our finished length give it a certain amount of rough material on the front hit OK and it's now created the blank hit finish on that step move on to the next step model layout I'm already happy with the way the model is laid out within the raw material just going to hit finish on that step now here's where the real power of our Mazatrol automatic programming system goes. What it's asking me to do here is to choose what I want to do on head one and what I want to do on head two. And it uses these arrows and vertical lines to define it. So what I'm going to do is for head one, I'm going to move that one arrow a little bit farther so that it's going to try to do as much of that part as possible on the head one operation. And then I'm going to go to head two, and I want head two to come to the other side of this rise. So I'm going to move head two's line right over to here, and I'm pretty happy with that. And now for the ID, I'll do the same thing. On the head one side, I want it to come all the way to that wall at the bottom of the bore. On the head two side, I just want it to come just barely within that wall. Hit OK. I can add a little bit more attributes to it if I want to, but I'm really happy with what I got, so I'm just going to hit finish. When it's done generating, I can kind of pop down through here and see what each one of these are going to do, but all I really need to do is hit OK give it a unique program name, let's say AAL-1 input, and it's created the program for me.